I certainly honor his service as a prisoner of war. Uh, he, he was a hero to me and to hundreds of thousands, millions of others in the armed forces as a prisoner of war. He has been a voice on the Senate Armed Services Committee, and he has traveled all over the world. But he hasn't held executive responsibility. That large squadron in the air, in the Navy that he commanded, it wasn't a wartime squadron. He hasn't been there and ordered the bombs to fall. He hasn't seen what it's like when diplomats come in and say, I don't know whether we're going to be able to get this point through or not. Do you want to take the risk? What about your reputation? How do we handle well, it publicly? He hasn't made those calls, Well, well General, maybe so, uh, could I just interrupt you? If you're, sure. I have to say Barack Obama has not had any of those experiences either, nor has he ridden in a fighter plane and gotten shot down. I mean... Well, I don't think riding in a fighter plane and getting shot down is a qualification to be president. Really? There's a news story that's coming into us tonight that's no doubt going to reverberate for days, if not weeks. A respected military leader dissing, some might say swift boating, John McCain's military record. Did Wesley Clark pull a swift boat on John McCain? It's a lot of talk that it's causing. I'll quote Bob Beckel last night. Bob Beckel, a Democratic strategist for Fox News and everybody else, said, General Wesley Clark, shut up. Let me say one thing about Wesley Clark. Shut up. Shut up. You are hurting Barack Obama. Shut up, General Wesley Clark. Wow. To ridicule uh, McCain, of all people, his military <laughs> experience is really going out on a limb. Patriotism, military service. I wouldn't go there with John McCain. The one thing you don't attack John McCain on is his military service. Yeah, it's, it's, it's ludicrous. His comments are pretty embarrassing. I think General Clark's comments are petty and small, um, much like the man himself. Ouch! Mm, a little over the edge. Yeah. I think he went way too far. I think he's going to go into a witness protection program between now and the election. <laughs> You're supporting Wesley Clark for minimizing the sacrifice of John McCain and somehow poo-pooing that. How on earth? I don't think that, you know, we're in a situation here where General Clark actually questioned the patriotism. Wait a second. We are talking about a man who was essentially in a hole, having chairs broken over his shoulders for five and before a half the, years. Before the, and clip, General before the clip that you Clark showed, before the clip that you showed, and excuse me, total excuse outrage. me for a second, Miss, but you're no, speaking about a man like, that no, took no, no, four John, bullet no. holes in Vietnam and was carried out of Vietnam John, on a stretcher. Not, we and don't who respect is, Senator wait a McCain's Last service. Time I checked, he said it yesterday. We didn't question his experience. I respect Senator McCain's work. service. Go. General Clark Jump opened in. the interview Go. yesterday, but why can we not question the fact the reason as to why Stop these it, issues John, are that Senator John, McCain doesn't... John, you're not going to be know, on the is, show is, again. Go. John, <laughs> unbelievable. This is an embarrassment, and I, I, I'm just saying this as an American citizen. I just don't want to hear this. As an American, it makes my blood boil, i got to tell you. Senator you McCain is a war hero. David, I think that you're a war hero. I think your service is honorable. I really do. I think you're a good American, but... Everybody's a war hero. Okay, well, hold on, John. I don't think that this is out of bounds. You guys aren't John, you're better than that. I think years, you guys are better are, than that. I wouldn't, I, you know, going after a general like Wesley Clark who got carried out of Vietnam oh, was yeah. on, a, on, oh, a, yeah. on a stretcher. And John when you, McCain can't move his arms, guy. Come McCain on. Press conference. Don't, don't do this. If John McCain is known for anything, it's his five and a half years as a Vietnam POW. So why is he defending it? I don't think that it's smart politics for uh, to disparage John McCain's military service. Uh, what's he doing? Uh, and, and why is he doing it? <laughs> He's actually going after the one, uh, the, the one thing that we thought was almost unimpeachable. Really impervious. About Senator John McCain, and that's his military experience, his experience as a POW. He's going right after that. He's, he's going into the lion's den, touching the third rail, whatever you know, metaphor you want to use. Senator Clark just opened a Pandora's box. That's a red herring, and you know that Obama. paper tiger argument. And retired General Wesley Clark is blasting, you might say, John McCain's military record. What Clark's Said before that was that his service, his leading a naval, a naval squadron, wasn't it wasn't a combat squadron. That's that's actually is belittling his service, and it's not. It's actually what makes Republicans tickled and and delighted. Wesley Clark came along and minimized five and a half years in a hole. Right. That's going after the very thing that makes John McCain a hero, yeah. a, an iconic hero to everyone. What are they thinking? Attacking the war record of American hero? I mean, come on. I'm very concerned that a four-star general would say be shot out is not military service. What in the world does that say to our troops? Well, why is one, right uh, now? Well, let me ask you a question, Kelly. What does that say to the troops that what, what you're doing is a meaningless? Kelly, a swift response to things that are going on out there today. Swift being the proper word. That was an outrageous comment by General Clark, who knows better than this. Shame on him. This smear, this libel. General Clark was outrageous. 
It just was, it was, it, it, you know, this, this was beyond, this was beyond the pale. This is straight out of the Karl Rove playbook. You know, last time around they swift boated John Kerry, who was a Vietnam veteran hero, served in the war, running against George W. Bush, who hadn't served. And what they did was they went right at his strength. They went at his military service. Now you're seeing uh, Barack Obama, I mean, this is, this campaign's going down faster than a four-year-old on a water slide during the summer. What you're seeing, they're using John McCain's strength against him. They're questioning whether or not he's a real war hero. What person has said that John McCain was not heroic? Who said that? Oh, my God, lots Who? of people. Who? Good, Who? good God. Who said that? Who? Who? There's, there's Their a name blogger. was America's America's blogger. America's blogger. So America's 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 the presidential campaign hits a new low as the left smears John McCain's war record and attacks him for being a war hero and ridicules him for his heroism. We're back in 2004, folks. We're talking about vet, swift boat veterans for the truth. John Kerry's back in the mix. This is not good for Obama. Deja Swift Boat. I think if they John, if they kept this up, John McCain would challenge him to a fist fight in Times Square. And the difference I, I was John you, Kerry tried to ignore it. I asked John Kerry, why didn't you challenge him to a fist fight? And that's, I think, a big reason why I lost. You know, some people are calling this sort of this year's swift boating. Talk about getting swift boated here. One of the guys who actually helped bring down John Kerry is now on the case for John McCain. It was kind of weird to see John McCain's camp have a former swift boat vet out there doing the talking on this. I, I don't think you can compare this to swift boats. I mean, there was a lot yeah. of controversy. I mean, McCain never threw his medals over a fence and all right. the other stuff that went on there. Tonight, the firestorm over patriotism, politics, and yes, Vietnam. John McCain firing back, defending his war record after an Obama supporter takes a shot at him. Is it fair game? Or is McCain being swift boated? Swift boated, whatever that is. Are we just lowering the bar further and further in, in this political world? I'll tell you one thing, if they keep it up, he will challenge him to a fist fight, one, <laughs> and you and I are going to be there <laughs> for be it. That'd be good. Thank one. you. Straight ahead, an outrageous display of San Francisco values.